Come on, pretty boy. Pretty boy? You're kidding me. Pretty boy? Stop! Stop! Please! Please! I beg you, stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? <sighs> Who knows? Just... Hey. Can you... <clears throat> Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. <sighs> Oh, he got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's going to remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Scaldings, boys, are moving him to a camp nearby 
before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Girl. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Some young mother they're saying Dutch murdered on the boat. I don't know about that. I wasn't there. Bad day. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we should keep it down. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Push up, come on! Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep. That's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me.
There, girl. Do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch. Down out of sight. Take out your knife. Wait. Let's get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Wait here. He's still reeling the men. Gentlemen. Gentlemen, excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Where is she? Let's go now. Her. Keep down. I, I'm beside myself. I, if, I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. Uh, Okay, let's get after him. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Get past these sons of bitches! Let's push up! The camp's up this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Take him down. God damn army of these bastards. How much is Sean's bounty? Maybe we'll... Still time! Tree. 
Okay. Let's get Sean. You're making heavy work of this, aren't you? You know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this game. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper I can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all miss me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. Charles? Yeah. Already wishing we left Sean hanging from that tree. Oh, I know what you mean. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Hey, listen. I just wanted to say... You can rest now. I know you bastards missed me. <laughs> Even you, Arthur. Even you. Here we go. Well, Arthur! Oh, Arthur! Hey, you seem in a good mood. I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. Mr. McGuire, and don't you back. worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk on. old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Dead Eye McGuire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. <laughs> I love you, bastards. <laughs> A classic Sean McGuire speech. Yes, he's definitely back. We needed a reason to celebrate. Oh, come on. Let's enjoy uh oh, here comes trouble. I just can't get you okay, Jilly? <laughs> yes, just relaxing. So good to have Sean back. Yeah, well, you say that now. No matter what else happens, nothing quite beats sitting by the fire. You can. Have the hounds of hell after you and all the angels of vengeance alongside them, but a warm fire and you feel all is okay. Them that discovered the stuff must have thought they was gods among monkeys. They discovered fire. In our time, <laughs> they've discovered a wire you can talk down to speak to people you wanted to avoid so much you moved to a different town to escape them. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> you okay, Jose? You know, fell down, Arthur. When I was in the yard, it wasn't just me. Fellas would spend all night talking about what they were gonna do the second they left the army. Oh, all kinds of things like, oh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna be a cook or. Well, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna find me a wife. <laughs> Hell, someone's like, <laughs> I'm gonna go and dance with the finest whore in San Francisco. <laughs> you know, some shit like that. You know how fellas is. Oh. Well, no offense. But you know what every one of them did the second they left the army? Join the goddamn army again. Jesus Christ. I mean, here is a group of fellas that spent every waking minute 
just dreaming of leaving. And, and then they left, and then they jumped back in again. Stupid. You know what? That, that taught me something. And, and, and it taught me something I will never forget. And that's that most fellas are sheep. That's right. And, and if you can tell the difference between a... You, the difference between a sheep and a, a, a sheep and, and a man, then you, you, well, you, that, you, that makes you a better man than me, sir. And that's all I'm saying. Mark my words, all of you, mark my words. Stupid army. Sheep. loose tonight who been too long you're always ready to let loose Marshman. well life's too short suddenly you seem much better marston don't feel too sudden to me just when the drinks come out <laughs> look after your boy tonight Hello. He's not my boy. Okay. Okay. Did you miss him? You know, I think I actually did. Ha <laughs> ha, me too. Welcome back, Sean. I owe you one, Arthur Morgan. The drinks are on me. They always are when you ain't buying. much excuse somebody needs to show you all how it's done and I'm sure you will <laughs> so your drinking pals back oh, with the vengeance it seems <laughs> yeah, I've forgotten how loud it was. sing a merry song the wide, wide world I wander over With a light, light heart I roll along Mr. Morgan! Oh, I Morgan! Forever. I sing a merry song The wide, wide world I wander over Hello. With a light, light heart Hello. I roll along With a light, light what do you want? heart I roll along I'm not... I'm not quite sure. <laughs> this keeps happening. With a light, light heart, I roam along. With a light, light heart, I roam along. The wind roams free, a wild song singing, and softly murmuring flows the stream. Come on. The bird roams free, its wild way winging, and I rove and sing with morn's first beam. Oh, oh I'm a wild river, I sing a merry song, a wild wide world I wander over, oh, with a light, light heart I roll along. Oh, with the light, light heart I roll along. The good earth loves a wild free rover, for a roving bird is never dumb. Mm, no. He sings to please the dear old mother, and she I rewards him with a crumb. Oh, oh I'm, I'm a wild free rover, rover. I, I sing a merry song. The wide, wide world I wander over, and the light, light heart I roam along. Oh, with the light, light heart I roam along. <laughs> Was it a long ride back with him? You have no idea. I can imagine.
When I was just <laughs> lad, you know, I met a gal from old Bordeaux. She had blonde hair and blue eyes too. Let me ride on the ring dang do, the ring dang do. Now what is that? Soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and split in two. That's, That's what, what you call, call ring dang do. <laughs> Said that it was a mighty fine, fine fellow. <laughs> Wish me to let me ride on oh, the ring dang do, the ring dang do. Now, now what, what is that? that? It's it's all around like, like a, a pussy, pussy cat. cat. Got a hole in the middle and a split in two. That's what you call the ring dang do. Her come in angrily said, Now you have lost your maiden head. Make, Make your living off the ring dang do, the ring dang do. Now what is that? Soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and split in two. That's what you call the ring dang do. She went off to be a whore. Hung this time upon her door. A dollar each and three for two. Take your crack at the ring dang do, the ring dang do. Now what is that? Soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. And that's what they call a ring dang do. <laughs> You're a dirty man. Yes. for fools. Yep. It's just unnatural. All this land. Ain't natural at all. You all right there, Pearson? You seem a little out of it. Ah, just exhausted, Mr. Morgan. Well, we're out of the worst now. I ever tell you boys about the time I was lost in the Congo? Became a, a living god for a few days? Seriously, it's a good one. And it's true, entirely true. Many, many years ago, I was selling camping supplies in East Africa. <laughs> Hello. Uh, my lord, it was wild. The massive boys, uh, them Congo Indians, <laughs> average nine feet tall, some even bigger. <laughs> now, we was riding down the river, you know, when suddenly our boat erupted into flames. Uh, the rest of the crew, they, they was eaten by hippopotamuses and rhinoceroses. I survived, you know. <laughs> I got taken to a, a village in the trees. Uh, they'd never seen a white man before, and... As luck would have it, they, they had a witch doctor made a prophecy that a god would turn up floating on the river, white as a cloud. <laughs> so they made me a god. <laughs> and it was fun for a few weeks. <sighs> well, then they tried to marry me off to the chief's daughter. Either that or... Sacrifice me to another god. <laughs> when I said I'm not the marrying kind, <sighs> they wanted to kill me and feed me to their pigs. <laughs> well, I ran away and, well, I spent weeks in the jungle, <laughs> gorging off giant cockroaches. Oh, God. True story. I promise you. <sighs> you was in Africa? I've lived many a life, young Morgan. Well, in your mind, maybe.
may be made. Ow. Ah. Ow. 